What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today's Saturday and uh, we are stuck in traffic. We got the homie Craig from Not Another Retro Channel. We got Kyle, Cincy, Toy Bills. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much stuck in traffic, literally. We are, uh, I don't even know where we're at. Uh, we're out just outside of Batesville. Yeah, what he said. And it's not very good. So. We were on a high, we were like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, and yep. now it's a uh, dead, dead stop. So, it's pretty cool, and there's no cars okay. coming from the opposite way. way. Yeah, so the road's definitely closed, staying still. So I'll pick uh, back up, hopefully soon, when we're on, on our way to Kokomo, or Toy Pit. We're going to Toy Pit first, that's right. See you guys later. What is up, guys? The Toy Pit, we... <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle was, <laughs> Kyle's in the back, and he's got, he's got to get in through there, so that was... That was good, <laughs> uh, but honestly, how long do you think that detour was? An hour? At least. We're about an hour late. Yeah, we're yeah. about an hour late, but we've made it to the toy it. pit. We got the squad. Um, we are, yeah, we're running late. So we're gonna go in here. This is the first time all of, any of us have been here besides Billy. He's been here once, correct? Yes, I've been to the toy pit once. So is everyone else we're gonna come in here, get some, hopefully buy some stuff. I'm trying to find my money right now. There it is, all right, cool. So we're gonna go in here, I'll show you guys what's in here, and let's go. So here, here is the store. This is absolutely crazy so far. But this is, this is an awesome, awesome store. For sure. So I'm gonna try to get my boundaries and figure out where I wanna go. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys uh, some stuff here soon. Okay, so I'm gonna start off, here's uh, Anakin's Jedi fighter. There's some uh, loose figures right there. There's a uh, scout trooper stuff. Looks like some customs, a plo Koon. That's pretty cool. Right there. What you, you find anything, dude? Anything over here? Cool. It's really fine. Twenty-five. I might get those. That's pretty Just cool. I like him. them. Yeah. yeah, he's really cool. Um. God. What else? Oh, here's some ships and stuff over here. What we got in there? A TIE Pilot. Um, God, what are, there's some older Black Series in there. I wonder what those are. There's some ships. Some loose figures. I might dig through here. Just try to find some odds and ends stuff. What we got over here? Some, uh, looks like some do-backs, missing pieces stuff. Cool stuff though. So I'm just gonna start showing off some random stuff because since Kokomo is going to be in this video as well, I don't wanna content overload. Here's some uh, Lord of the Rings figures. Be cool. I just wish that they would have updated uh, figures of those because I would definitely collect them if they came out with a new series. Here's this thing, this thing looks cool. I have no idea what it is. Huh, it's pretty evil. They just have like totes and bins and Hell just yeah. stuff. <laughs> Billy. Michael Jordan, baby. Space 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 There's Lando. Oh, nice. that's a uh, closet. I don't know how much it is. Hmm. They just have random stuff everywhere. This store is actually really cool. Do you see all these, Cincy? I don't know if these are anything. I'm gonna look through those. Hmm. Okay, so where else are we going? Show you guys some cool stuff in here. Okay, here, just randomly stopping seeing some NECA figures. Uh, Uncharted Drake. I need to go look at the Star Wars stuff. Here's a bunch of Halo figures. Halo 4. Um, <laughs> some Rugrats ones, those are funny. So what else we got here? Um, Game of Thrones, I don't really know. I'm. Since this is my first time here, I'm kind of looking more than I'm probably recording, so sorry for that. But I want to flip through some of these three and three quarter figures. We have some of the Clone Wars, the old card backs. I don't like those card backs as much. Um, looks like we have some Saga collection. We have a bunch of just randoms. I, I can't really think of stuff that I, or figures that I need, it's just more or less figures that I would want randomly, like I just want oddball characters. 
I don't know, what's this emperor look like? That looks scary. We have some Gungans. I don't know who that is. There's a clone. I don't know how much they have on these. 14? Nah. No thanks. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I've, I mean, obviously you guys can see. There's a lot to flip through. But the one thing that I'm thinking about is... Focus. There we go. This Jedi pad one. Just, I don't think I've seen this figure before, but just have a little, like a youngling, I guess you could say. Pretty cool. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. We are in the car. We left Toy Pits. I don't think I recorded much, but obviously, check out everyone else's channel. I got um, some stuff. Yeah, since you got some stuff, Craig Good picked stuff. it up for my birthday. The guy, it was this the captain, technically. Yeah. I don't, I think I have this, but I'm going to open them up, take some pictures of them. So, Craig, thank you, homie. Yeah, Much appreciated. And uh, we're driving through a storm right now, I think. Um, well, actually, I know we are, because I don't think it at all. Show um, Craig's hot toy. Yeah, I got a, uh, <laughs> yeah. a sideshow. Craig, show. explain this. So, this is my first sideshow. Um, <laughs> had to have it. So, I got the Randy Travis <laughs> Country Stars. Um, Coming back to by, Texas. Um, by <laughs> Premier exclusive premiere he's coming back home to texas with me he's limited awesome. to 9600 pieces 9600 that's, that's that's great odds that's awesome and um oh he, he has an awesome mullet <laughs> but it's not really displayed well in the figure but i'm gonna have to do a little customizing um other than that yeah i'm pretty pretty stoked that's awesome great. figure yeah. he, yeah, he only paid 120 for it which yeah. is a good deal right yeah, yeah. yeah. it goes for like 600 dollars yeah. Yeah. yeah the box was minor shelf wear on that box um, but this is what we're going through right now so this is fun this is this is good times right here and we are uh, 40 minutes away from good old Kokomo so hopefully if we survive this uh, storm all right I want to get off so I stop bugging him see you guys all right guys we've made it are you excited? This is your first time, obviously. Your first time. Excited? I'm happy. Billy, you nervous? Excited? Oh, I'm so nervous, dude. I'm, I'm ready to spend some money. You ready? You ready to spend some money? I'm, uh, I'm ready to spend some money as well. So we're going to go over here. I'll show you guys. I'm super excited. Let's do it. So we're looking at Hot Toys first. Imagine that. Um, I'm going to try to talk loud since the movie's kind of high, but that Black Widow from the first Avengers movie looks really, really good. Um, but I did already purchase a uh, Black Widow figure. We have some uh, Mike Tyson figures. And then there's Jen. I just got her. I don't know if I've shown her in a video yet. And then Boromir. He looks really, really cool. I like him. I'm thinking about maybe getting this Chirrut. I don't know. Looks very, very, very good though. We have a couple. We have Hawkeye. And then Harley and Joker. Give you guys a quick look at this stuff over here. Ghost Rider. 300 figures. Uh, Hunger Games. And then here we have some Resident Evil figures. I think Billy's gonna get that Death Star Gunner. Then there's the animated Fett. Cap. And then uh, Muhammad Ali. Okay, and here we go with their, uh, their hacks wall. They have tons. Tons and tons and tons of these figures, which look super cool. This is the male Gorgon. We have the Miramix Warrior. The Eos Warrior, maybe? I think that's what it's called. I'm thinking about maybe getting one or two of these archers. I just don't know if I like the face that well. The, the hair looks odd to me, um, but they would look really, really good uh, in some pictures. This Amazon Warrior. Oh, she looks awesome. Oh, let's focus, maybe. There we go. Yeah, she looks really cool. Um, what else that I haven't shown you guys? Here's another archer. She looks good as well. Skeletons. Yeah, dude. This is this is my favorite one. I know you saw the picture of it, but just like his head sculpt and everything. Looks very, very good. And these are cool because you can kind of army build the steel blade. And then here are the Spiro toys, Animal Kingdom figures. 
They look super cool. I like this one. But yeah, I'm digging that. But so yeah, here's pretty much all that. I'm going to look around and stuff before I start buying or and recording too, because I got to make up my mind. Okay, so here is the whole wave of the coal obsidian. Um, I'm getting Black Widow because I have Thor coming thanks to uh, Brandon Backlund. But I think I'm going to get Wasp as well. Just because the, the unmasked head sculpt looks so good. Um, I don't know about Ant-Man. I'm not sure. I, honestly, I do not like the, uh, the Paul Rudd head sculpts. I just, I don't know. I might change my mind after the movie, but... And then Black Knight, I'm not sure of. I definitely want to build Cool Obsidian, but I necessarily don't want all the figures. So, I think I'm going to go through these, see if I can find a good head sculpt. Ooh, let's focus first. I'm not used to using this camera yet. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to go through and try to find some sort of good head sculpt, and then, um, yeah, pick one out. But this is what I got so far. Um, let's see, here's a bunch of NECA stuff over here. Gears of War, Clash of Titans, Grindhouse, Predator, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then we have some Valerian figures, some Half-Life. These are cool. He looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, Ash vs. Evil Dead, Terminator, Godzilla, Chucky. Yeah, some alien stuff up here. Cool stuff though. Love this freaking store. So we're all googly eyed over all of these Clone Wars ships. Yeah, I yeah this crab droid looks really cool. I would open that up if I got it. Look how big it gets though. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, it is. Billy, let's see this. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. 25. Yeah. It's not bad. No, and there's a. Uh, it's cool to see all the old Clone Wars. Like, that's the old, old Clone Wars stuff. And then. What big is that? Uh, that's the one with the Yaddle. Oh, okay. And Yoda or whatever. And then we have uh, Obi Wan's Delta Starfighter right there, the Clone Wars series. Kyle, are you sensory overloaded yet? Oh, yeah. Very much <laughs> it's crazy. And then we have these. Battle of Endor and the Battle of Hoth. That Battle of Hoth pack is so freaking cool, but I just would have no room for that. Super awesome though. And here's some uh, wrestling figures. I have one hand, so I'm not going to be able to flip through everything, so I apologize. But I'll try to get through. There's a, a good Shawn Michaels fig. I have this Kevin Nash figure. Looks really good. This thing's pretty cool. Cynthia, did you see these battle packs up here? The Endor and Hoth? Those are awesome. So once again, um, stuff that you just don't see every day that I am falling in love with. Are these a uh, creature, what are these called? I don't even know how to, creature replica? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, these figures look cool. I mean, $40 cool? I don't know, probably not, but I like looking at them. I'll show you guys. This is the Louisiana Ragaro. I don't. I'm done pronouncing anything. Looks cool though. I dig them. I like. Uh, I like seeing stuff that I've never seen before, and it intrigues me. So far, update: just Wasp and Black Widow. And here's a Sentinel Builder figure over here. A bunch of vintage. Um, Star Wars. Yeah, sorry, I'm just more concerned about Black Panther playing up there. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm doing a lot more uh, shopping and hanging out because this is, like I said, Kyle's first time, Craig's first time. So it's, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to hang out. Pretty cool Enjoy store. it. Yeah, it is very. That mall is pretty cool back there. Well, all you see is my big ass head. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have checked out. I uh, bought some hacks. I bought a hot toy. Which I, dude, I never thought that I'd be saying that in my videos. So I bought a hot toy. And now it's here. You're kind of part of it, dude. You're the reason. <laughs> Technically, now it's six. But anyways, we're, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. I might buy another hack. Oh, yeah, five last night. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five last night, dude. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to hang out, chill out. Then we're going to go get some food and then head back to Ohio. 
hopefully this video is going good if you liked it so far hit that like button um because yeah we want to have some uh, cool hopefully a cool uh haul after this or something i don't know what i'm saying see you guys guys we are back at home once again um i don't think i got a lot of footage at kokomo or anything um so i apologize i know you guys like to see that store and everything but with Craig being there and Kyle being there for the first time and me stressing out over everything that I bought. But if you guys did not know, Zach from Spiro Toys sent me a care package, um, which I will show you guys here soon. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to uh, show you guys something real quick and then I'm going to pick the video up tomorrow because I'm just too tired to go through all of this stuff tonight. Um, but Zach from Spiro Toys, he sent me a box um, with some goodies from the Animal Kingdom series that you guys probably saw me pick up in my last video. Um, and he watches my videos before all this, so Zach, thank you, dude. Um, this was very, very generous of you, but he hooked something up for Karina and Parker. So I'm gonna show you guys Parker's reaction to this because I know you guys like this, so one second. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, close them. Open them. <laughs> oh, do you like? I know, buddy. The dinosaur can get the other dinosaur can get in Jurassic Park. I know. Hey, look at me. Can you say thank you, Zach? Say thank you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. Do you like it, buddy? Mhm. Mm it's awesome, huh? <laughs> so hopefully, Zach, thank you, dude. That that reaction is awesome. But yeah, this is what he sent to Karina as well. It's a uh, Violet. Beauregard. 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 Beauregard pop. Violet. Um. <laughs> she does like Willy Wonka, so that, that was a good choice, dude. Um, and then, actually, I'm just going to show you guys this uh, these figures real quick. I honestly do not remember if I showed this in the video. So, yeah. But here is one of the figures. I think his name's Pale. Is that? Yeah, Pale. He's super cool. He's going to take some cool pictures. I'm going to try to get, like, a group picture of everything that I've gotten so far. And then we have Krulor. I'm probably butchering these so bad. But here we go. Is there's another three Um, maybe. What is it? And then we have uh, Toxius, which I almost got him um, from Roma Collectibles, but I ended up getting uh, the other two that I got. But I already took him out of package and played around with him for a little bit. He's super cool, so I'm excited. But anyways, I'm I'm going to pick it up. Um, in the next clip, I will have six hot toys to show you guys. See you in the morning. Good morning guys, it is day two, it is Sunday, and I have spent probably the last two hours or so um, unboxing all these hot toys, getting them set up, but the bad thing is I don't, I don't have any room. So I think today I'm going to put up the third detail, but I still don't think I'll have enough room for everything. Um, but I'm going to briefly go over all of, all of the ones that I got um, and then show you guys what else I got in the haul. Um, as well so this isn't going to be any sort of review just want to show you guys i'm super excited for these um so let's start the first one i picked up was a netflix daredevil you see the suit's really cool really good detailed um all the accessories are back in the box so i won't be able to show you guys everything that it comes with um, but this is the head sculpt that i decided to go with kind of the bloodied up if i can get it to focus there we go bloodied up version and then he's just holding those but with these suits as you guys know the the rubber material um don't want to bend them too much and keep them just because it'll start corroding or ripping tearing whatever but decided just to kind of go this generic pose the next one i went with is the netflix punisher i absolutely love this figure the detail on these figures are insane though i wish that he came with like a yelling head sculpt just so when he's holding a, a minigun like that, it doesn't look like he's, you know, just kind of chilling. I just wish he looked a little more mean. I think the uh, Mezco uh, Punisher is coming with a yelling head sculpt. I don't know. I forget. But yeah, the detail on the vest and stuff is super cool. Very, very excited for this. Next figure that I got is the Age of Ultron Black Widow. And she is another one with that kind of suit where you don't want to keep her elbows bent too much um so i have that she comes with guns and accessories and everything but like i said everything's packed up i uh didn't want to make this whole video review but if you guys do want me to showcase 
what I have so far, these, plus uh, I have a couple more coming in the mail next week, I think. Um, just let me know down in the comments below. And this is probably my favorite one that I picked up. It's the Age of Ultron Thor. And it just looks super, super cool. The cape and everything. Obviously soft goods, but it's a nice quality material. And he has the seamless joints, so you obviously you can't see his elbow joints, which definitely I will keep straight arms like this. Looks really, really good though. And one cool little feature is when you turn it, Mjolnir lights up. So that's cool. I wish uh, I wish I could just leave it on all the time because honestly it looks really dope. And it looks even better when all the lights are off. But yeah, just wanted to show that to you guys. And then uh, my second to last pickup is K2SO. I got this one from Cincy as well. But I have Jen. I have a Death Trooper on its way. And I possibly might have a lead on a Scarf Trooper. Hot Toys version, obviously. Um, so I had to get K2SO. Um, Rogue One is probably one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Can't decide between that and or uh, Solo right now. But his eyes do light up. I did not put the batteries in yet. Just because I don't know how often I'm going to have his lights or his eyes light up. So I don't want it to damage the figure, corrosion or anything like that. But this is such a cool figure in person. Just the detail. All of his fingers um, articulate every... Um, there's his thumb. Let's move that over. But yeah, each one of his knuckles are articulated. So the detail is insane on that. And then good weathering on the gun. There we go. Super cool figure. And then my last purchase, well, Hot Toys purchase. This one came from Kokomo. It is the Deluxe Cheer It Way. I am super happy about this figure. I hope that they announce that they're doing bays. Um, that way we can have the duo together. Um, the only thing, this base is messed up, so I have to contact Hot Toys. Hopefully they're cool with it, but the stand, this stand right here, does not fit in there because the, um, the peg is slightly off-centered. Um, with the way that the base is with the rocks and the plants and stuff, um, it does not fit in there very smoothly. But yeah, he comes with his gun. As you can see, I have it strapped on back there, but just a generic little pose, but the likeliness to the actor, Donnie Yen. Super, super cool. But I'm super excited about this figure. I cannot wait. Um, to ha he's gonna be posed with a Death Trooper, and then he's gonna be with uh, Jen. And then a couple other figures that I did pick up. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but once again, Craig, thank you, brother. Got my clone trooper captain right here, and then I picked up uh, Wasp and Black Widow, which I opened, so let me show you that. There we have uh, Black Widow. I have her on my MCU shelf, because I'm gonna try to fill this shelf up with just MCU stuff, and then we have Wasp right here. There we go. She's a super cool figure. Honestly, I was talking about it with the guys in the car. Like, from a distance, with that head sculpt, I mean, she could fool you for a SH figure art pretty quickly um, until you get a little closer because obviously you can tell. But yeah, I think those are two good additions. Um, pick those up, Kokomo, 20 bucks a piece. And then, thank you to Cincy for this select juggernaut. Um, we did a little trade for some uh, Clone Wars figures. So he picked this up for me at uh, Comics the Games, I believe. But the scale is so much better than the Dota figure. And then also I picked up these two Hacks figures from Kokomo. I'm almost positive you, I showed this at some point in the video. Um, but just wanted to let you guys see it again just in case. But I will be... I Honestly, I bought these to take pictures of. Um, I mean, they're cool figures. But if I wasn't taking pictures so much, um, I probably would have passed on these. I mean, I definitely would not have bought two. But I'm going to hopefully get some pictures taken with them. Because um, I have still a couple more like Elvish Archer types. Like those two will look cool. I don't know. I mean, all four of them actually. I can get them all in frame. Yeah. All four of those will look cool. So hopefully I can get some good pictures. And then once again, real quick, Spirit Toys. Shout out to you guys. I'll put a link down in the description um, in case you were wanting to check these out. Um, the price point is very fair on these. So go check them out. Link in the description. So that is going to do it for the video, guys. And I'm always transparent with you guys. And I want you guys to know um, this was a very, very expensive haul. Um, it, I did not think I was going to spend this much. Um, 
I think in total I spent like fourteen hundred dollars with the the six hot toys and then the other random stuff. Um, but I got good deals on everything, so it's it's good. I'm, I try not to panic or whatever. But I, I just want you guys to know that yes, I'm spending a lot of money on this stuff because I enjoy it. And honestly, I never thought I would be collecting hot toys like this. But once I got the Detolfs, I don't know. These figures just look beautiful. I am beyond happy about it. So transparency 100% to you guys. Um, so thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. So um, birthday live stream is Wednesday because my birthday is this coming Wednesday the 13th. And I think Billy's going to come over for a little bit. Korean's going to be on the stream. We're just going to hang out, maybe open some stuff, um, just talk with you guys and possibly have some alcoholic beverages to celebrate. So if you guys can, please join that stream. It's Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have watched this far in the video, let me know your birthday. You don't have to put your year just in case, but let me know your birthday down in the comments below. That way I know you watched until this far in the video. So hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I love you so much. And as always, may the figs be with you.